What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Chris, out in the Caliente garage. Well, in this video, we're going to be talking about this temperature sensor that's located on the front of my Honda Going GL1800. Over the last year, I have received countless emails and inquiries about what is this temperature sensor that's located on the front of my Going. You guys are asking me, where did I get it from? What is it hooked to? How much does it cost? Where can you get it? Well, in this video, I'm going to be telling you everything that you need to know about this temperature sensor that's located on the front of my Honda Goldwing GL1800. So let's get started. Goldwing Ride, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motor vlogs. Okay, this is the actual indoor outdoor wire thermometer that's on the front of my Honda Goldwing. It's made by Radio Shack. The part number is 6300699, and I will include a link down in the description below with the part number for any of you that are thinking about purchasing this wire thermometer like I have here for your Honda Goldwing. Now, let me warn you that Radio Shack closed a lot of its stores, so this particular wire thermometer may be hard to find. Looking at the back, it says it has a large, easy to read LCD display, a water resistant outdoor sensor, a 9.8 foot cord that easily extends through a door or window. It stores a minimum and maximum temperature and humidity readings, selectable Fahrenheit or Celsius format, sets on any flat surface using the flip out stand or can be mounted to a wall. The indoor temperature range is 32 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. The outdoor temperature range is 58 degrees to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Relative humidity, 20% to 95%. Plus, it simultaneously displays indoor temperatures and relative humidity as well as the outdoor temperature. To help keep the cord orderly and tangle free, Radio Shack carries adhesive back clips as a sales associate for details. Now, to run this, it's required to have a AAA battery that's not included. So let's go ahead and unbox this indoor outdoor wired thermometer by Radio Shack. It's very simple. It comes with a user guide that gives you all of the information, like tell you how to uh, install the battery, uh, where to hang the thermometer on the wall. And it just gives you some generalized information about the product, the specifications, and we're not going to get into that. It's a very simple design. I'm going to remove this. And basically all you're doing is sitting the temperature probe wherever you want, wherever you want to place it. Uh, and this kind of gives you a look at what the screen looks like when a battery is connected. The top shows the outside temperature. The left bottom corner shows the inside temperature and the right bottom corner shows the humidity. I want to peel away the backing. I'm just going to take it off. I'm going to remove the battery cover on the back. 
So it does call for a AAA battery that's not included. Also on the back is a little uh, stand that lets it sit upright. So it's very simple. The bottom left shows the, the minimum Humidity on the max, minimum. You can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Like right now it's showing 27 degrees Celsius or you can switch it to Fahrenheit, which is showing 82 degrees. And you can hit clear to clear it out. So it's a very simple uh, unit. Again, it comes with the, the user guide that'll show you how to use it. And it's just that simple. You just plug a battery in it. And I basically use this temperature to tell me the ambient temperature around the gold wing. I, I connect the probe to the front of the gold wing, place it anywhere uh, that I desire to put the probe. And it just basically gives me the temperature readout. And that's pretty much it, just a simple, wired indoor outdoor thermometer so i just wanted to give you guys a look at what i was using on the front of my gold wing very simple they sell so many different kinds but this is what i use so again it may be hard to find this online because radio shack is discontinuing a lot of, of their products so anyway i just want to give you guys a general look i hope this answered your questions about what this temperature sensor is for and how I use it. If you guys have any more questions or any comments, feel free to put it down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, hit the like button. This is your boy Chris, just showing you exactly what I'm using on the front of my Honda Goldwing. And I hope this answer your questions. And I will talk to you guys later. See you.